بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الحبت في الله continuing on in the last portion of our treaties uh, a study of the treaties of imam muqbil bin hadi al wadi allah yarhamhu his treaties hadi da'wat an wa'qidah and we read the portion of the treaties where the sheikh was speaking about uh, the the government and the issue of khuruj and we've mentioned this uh, in countless of our durus so go back to aqidah al wasatiya and right now uh, there's something uh, a short couple of uh, clips that I've done regarding ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed and many of the other uh, treaties, Nawaqid of Islam and others that we, we talked about this issue in depth. So the Sheikh said, after mentioning the danger of Hizbi and how the Hizbis try to paint Ahlul Sunnah uh, and give them names such as Wahhabiya, uh, Salafi Jadida, all of these names that are Mabniya, uh, that are Mabni al Batil, that are built upon battle, that are names derived from falsehood, and that are names and distortions of and, and attempts at distorting the Dawah to Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And they are a wicked uh, innovation of the Hizbiyun. And these, this bid'ah was a bid'ah that came from um, uh, it, it, from the earlier sects. And for example, let's listen to this Athar of the Salaf. وَقَالَ عَبْدُ الرَّحْمَنِ بِنَ أَبِي حَاتَمْ سَمِعْتُ أَبِي يَقُولُ عَلَامَةَ الْجَهْمِيَةَ تَسْمِيَةَ أَحْلَ السُنَّةَ مُشَبَّةَ وَعَلَامَةَ الْقَدَرِيَةَ تَسْمِيَةَ أَحْلَ السُنَّةَ مُجَابَةَ وَعَلَامَةَ مُرْجِيَةَ تَسْمِيَةَ أَحْلَ السُنَّةَ نَقْسَانِيَ وَعَلَامَةَ مُعْتَزِلَ تَسْمِيَةَ أَحْلَ السُنَّةَ حَشْوِيَةَ وَعَلَامَةَ رَافِضَ تَسْمِيَةَ أَحْلَ السُنَّةَ نَابَتَ and this was in Al-Al-Qa'i's uh, Al book. So in this narration, Abdurrahman ibn, uh, ibn Abi Hatim said, I heard from my father, I heard my father say, the sign of the Jahmiyyah is that they call Ahl Sunnah the Mushabiha. Look how many people now they claim and they lie and they go to such uh, such an extent in spreading their evil and trying to claim uh, cause doubt about the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, Dawah to Salafiyyah. They try to paint the Salafis as Mushabih or Mutashabihin or those people who make a resemblance between Allah and His creation. And they claim that Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah is mujassima, But they have no hujjah, bila barhan. This is falsehood, these are lies, and these are wicked claims. And again, this is not the time and place to deal with them, but we've dealt with them before, and you, it's up to you to go into those issues and research. But the point that we're trying to mention here is how Ahl al-Bidah has always went to the extent of trying to distort the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah. And this is Qadimin. This is what we see uh, in, in the past. So also the sign of the Qadariyya, the people of uh, who uh, deny the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have uh, knowledge of certain events or that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forces us like the Jibriya, they say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forces us to uh, do what we do, uh, these people in the past, they used to claim that Ahl Sunnah, they called the Ahl Sunnah Mujabara, that the Ahl Sunnah were the people who, who say that we are forced to do, do something. So these are the lies of the Qadariyya. These were the lies of the sect, the Qadariyya in the past. And likewise, the Murjia, the Murjia, those people who say that uh, deeds are not a part of Iman, that they claim that uh, they used to call Ahl Sunnah Naksaniya. And I'm not sure what, what is meant by this, but the point being here is that they referred to Ahl Sunnah by a name which uh, was a name used to distort the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah and to belittle Ahl Sunnah and the Ulama of Ahl Sunnah. 
And likewise, the Mu'tazila, they also, a sign of the Mu'tazila in the past was that they claimed that Ahl Sunnah were the Hashawiyah. Uh, and I, I'm not sure what this is, what this meant, uh, this term means. But again, it is a term used to belittle Ahl Sunnah. And likewise, the Rafa, the Shia, they claim that Ahl Sunnah is Nabata. And again, this is another term. These are old uh, terms. And we would have to go into some of the books of Aqidah and some of the explanations of the ulama to find out the meaning, uh, the exact meaning of those terms. But what we do know is that they were terms that Ahl Bid'ah used to belittle Ahl Sunnah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from and Ahl Sunnah from Kulisu wa Makru. And may Allah bless the Muslims everywhere and forgive the Muslims everywhere.